Welcome back to Let's Play Creepy Face Soma. Once again, oh, Simon has crash landed near a site called Delta. He is still trying to get to the Ark, but to do so, he first needs to get to the So he crashed on Delta. I think I named the previous part. Oh, it's something like uh, a long trip to Feta, I think. So did we not even make it to Feta? Uh, as I was about to say, uh, much like the previous record session, it's like two days later, here we are again. Gotta get as much recording in advance. So I can focus in on this one. I haven't even got around to Resident Evil 4 yet. Because I haven't even got Resident Evil 4 yet. I haven't got around to buying it yet. I remember seeing it on sale a while back. Who knows, maybe it's gone on sale now, for all I know. On the PS4, but the reason why I didn't get the PS4 version is because I haven't got much space on my freaking S4. It's like just an update for a game. And you'd be like, oh no, you I'll gotta delete, delete something because you haven't got enough space, not enough room, it's bullshit. So the last thing I want is like, God knows, like a couple of gigabyte game and all added to it as well. Hello, little guy. So I'll, I'm gonna like go with the PS3 version. I mean, I imagine there's not really much of a difference. I don't know why. If that is the case, if there's no difference between the two versions, it's just like no, it's just uh, it's like Skyrim. You see, you just release it multiple consoles, even if it's like from the same company. I don't know. But PS3 games don't tend to go on sale much these days. I imagine gradually over time the same thing will happen with the PS4 once the PS5 comes out. You'll be like, I don't know, the PS4 is so last decade now. You know, when the PS5 eventually comes out, I don't really give a shit because I don't buy consoles like, you know, on release, you know. I wait a few years usually. I mean, think how long it took me to get a PS4. I only got a PS4 like, what? Maybe just about two years ago, if that. The only console I can recall ever buying at launch is the Nintendo Wii. Like, I remember the, getting the PS2 for the first time. That was like at least two years into its lifespan, I think. Maybe three. And the PS2 has a ridiculous like collection of games. I mean not all of them are great games, but you can't deny it, PS2 has a hell of a large library. And then there was, you know, the PS3, I can't remember when it got around to get now, it was definitely late in its lifespan. I think the PS4 was already out by that point, like maybe even. I can't really remember. And the PS1, I can't remember. I think I got it in the 90s. Yeah, definitely got it in the 90s, but probably late 90s. Oh. Okay. Am I right? Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. I need some big acres. Have to speak with acres about that. Isn't that right, acres? Yeah. You learn a good word for me. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. I'm just messing with you. Oh. Uh, 
got here. Brandon, did you move the Carthage casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. Man, you can really tell when Astrid is off platform. This place turns into such a locker room. Not in a good way either. I do not understand. Then again, you should probably look around for clues for what the hell I'm supposed to be. Now it's funny how I said, you know, near the start selfie, so like, oh yeah, these underwater sections aren't really, you know, there's not quite as much as them, but there is. But, I don't know, it kind of feels a bit, I mean, I guess it is the bottom of the ocean, so it's a bit more barren. They're gonna see like loads of reefs and shit. The light is hurting my eyes, it's telling me I don't need a serious flesh inside my skull to see salvation. I will gladly remove them, stop them from obfuscating the, the, this divine mission. Hmm. I mean, I guess when you're like, you know, stuck in the apocalypse, bored out of your mind, probably, you just doodle all over the walls. At least it didn't shit on the walls. But you know, this uh, what may or may not be blood. Well, actually, I don't think it is blood. Is it? Eyeballs? Okay, it might be blood. Oh, that's maggots. Well, they survived the apocalypse at the end of the end. the one with blood dripping out of it is unless it's that structure gem stuff because it looks black so it might be with the structure gel our reflection in the black blood or our warden whispers I need to save them from this hell let them sleep and lock them in the lucid dreams I've seen Our opponent is too corrupt to play chess. It's exciting to watch WoW claim Delta. Half a year ago I'd be worried. I'd have Goya and Juan clean the black blood from the machinery. Uh, its crusty services seem to complement even outside of Delta Laws. There be more to it than that.
The thing is, this might as well be a blind LP, because I remember the plot points and all that. Sort of. But I don't really fully remember all the game. It's one bit I do remember is a bit that we're not going to see for a while. That I hope I remember it when it happens, because it's pretty much a case of uh, a developer oversight of sorts, where you can really screw yourself over. Also, I think I might have uh, missed an encounter with Amy, you know, the woman that did all the doodles. Because we can actually encounter her, and I think I might have accidentally uh, missed that encounter. Because I'm an idiot and went to progress the uh, game rather than go down the other side path. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get the theta. Make yourself useful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're so full of shit, Brandon. I've seen you with payload manager now. Well, at least, uh, you know, friendly-ish. I mean, then I'll give them the shit about us being here. So they're kind of indifferent, really. Is this the spot that it just came from? Evidently not. Good robot. Yes, good robots. I feel in this kind of apocalyptic world you have to you'd be talking to robots a lot. You'd go completely insane, and robots would be your only companions. Like, good robot, this place is shithole, so what was the point of even coming in here? Oh, hello. Sounds like some guy named Akers went back to insane. I mean, did he drown? Did he take off his helmet there or what? And judging from that, Akers is probably the one who did all the graffiti. Oh, there's a usable computer. Well, not really. Oh, wait, yes, it is. Open the invalid command. Fuck! You acres. Your scratch computers are good. Acres is doing some strange shit. He just took the Zeppelin back to Vader. Don't let him drop. Shut it the fuck down. But we need to get the Zeppelin. That's that's all I can remember. I mean, Zeppelin is obviously the landing platform behind us. I just remember getting confused a lot at this point in the game. So that'll probably happen again here. Yeah. 
because so far this whole LP has just been a giant brain fart. <laughs> I've like completely overlooked the obvious. Like a character could tell me exactly what I need to do and then I completely pay no attention whatsoever and it'll be like, what? I assume Zeppelin a quarter is the one. Strasky, we can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Voltec did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. I guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Acres is set up being a stubborn old man. Alright. <laughs> See you soon, Brandon. Happy evening. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. Uh, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Um, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. It was such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. You sound menacing, Acres. It's a good thing we got our robot friend. <laughs> that just looks so wrong. At least we aren't limping now. Subject out of evacuation. Terry, it's been it's been decided that you and your crew will evacuate uh, Fader on the floor. Everything is being taken care of and you will all be given the positions as you arrive. You will have to fall into the ranks of course. The last things we need are more leaders. Cromstead? Subject it's your funeral. Fuck you, Cromstead. It's not. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have the authority to make me, Terry. This isn't my orders, you idiot. I'm just a messenger. If you want to stay, I can buy you some time if you want to hang out in your town. But your crew is moving tomorrow. Rust end. Subject evacuation successful. Mr. Akers, I'm happy to inform you that your crew has safely arrived at the Let me know when you are ready to move and I'll stand for transport. Peter Stratsky, made a dispatch. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mr. Akers. Don't hesitate to ask if you want to be relocated later. Peter Stravsky, Peter Dispatch. So this Akers guy was here for quite a while. He won his thousand, one thousand new chess. 
against a corrupt opponent at that. That's that's really quite something. Or maybe he was the corrupt opponent all along. So how the hell did we end up in Delta? We came from Lambda and I guess we went Whoop, so easy. But we should be more up here. I mean, couldn't we just go from Delta to... Where's that? Omicron? Do we really have to go up to Theta to get there? I guess the transport station from Theta to Omicron is... Uh, more straightforward, I don't know. Not exactly much to do around here, is there? You can take shit and play chess. Yeah, uh, with this being a hundred, almost a hundred years in the future, you'd think they'd have more than just chess to play, you know, even if it is the apocalypse. You know, it'd be a mind fuck if they, like, uh, put amnesia to dark descent on there, <laughs> just like. You just have the menu, you don't actually get to play it, but it's on the computer, you'd be like, what the hell? Amnesia the Dark Descent exists as a video game in this game's universe. Hello, you seem to be stuck to whatever this is. Wait, are you alive? Head is moving. Can't interact though. Strange. This is clearly where the Zeppelin would land. A.K.A. the thing that looks like a giant flea. Guess our robot friend isn't gonna help. It's like, oh, shut. Yeah, probably for the best. Probably for the best. You could just get your robot friend to do that. Open it. I mean, he does that with the other ones. But no. Yeah, I probably overlooked the clue to do with this thing. While not paying attention to everything, you let her manage your payload. What? That doesn't even make sense. Come on, stop messing around and get back to work. Forget it, Apers. Wait. I'm not playing with you anymore. As if trust wasn't boring enough. You just have to go and win in four moves or whatever. 
the key word I think. No, the same one, the yielder. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's not technically a shield. Never mind. Uh, Which signal was it? Why did you want to go to Vader? Why be a small fish in a big pond, you know? Tell you the truth, I fucking love my job. I love that Delta is such a tight operation. I get to try everything here. Looks okay, right? No. Yeah. It'll do. What took no house ahead? Got it. Now, this is probably not what I'm supposed to do. I... 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 I don't know. I feel like, you know... When you let's play a game is different from when you just play a game in your own time. You play a game in your own time feels like you've got, you know, you you're more observant. For whatever reason, let's playing a game makes you less observant of the game. That's a long drop. What do you say? I mean, the solution's probably staring me right in the face, and I'm just that lies. Alright, I don't want to go back in there, though. Time would see me. I just need to check the map again. Maybe there's an old Map in here. I don't think it is. So it's entirely pointless coming in here. You let help me out, jackass. Um. What's that map? You get really, you know. Actually, wait, could that be it?
Eight forty. That might be it. That might be what I've been overlooking. Now I've completely Careful, lost sight of nice the uh, terminal thing. Oh, what is it? Two sixty. Okay, 216 is a no go. Man, I, I get re really lost here. <laughs> Just like my sense of direction is terrible. Or at least now I kind of know what I'm doing. Okay, success. The Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. Here comes the giant fleet. The Existence like that. I'd imagine Where are we so. Now? Delta, at least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course, is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. I, I feel awful. The robots only appear intelligent. They're much more like dogs than humans. I wouldn't hit a dog. Sorry, a poor choice of words. I don't want to hurt anything. Well, we need a tool chip or we're stuck here. What the hell, Catherine? Take the stun baton from the box I opened and hunt down a robot with a working tool chip. Take the stun baton from the box right over there and then go look for a robot with a working tool chip. Take the stun baton from the box right over there and then go look for a robot with a working tool chip. Guess I have no choice. I looked a bit like a fire extinguisher. Of course. 
course you do. I wanted to let you know that I know. You didn't blindly pick me out of the herd. The slow waves of Delta crashing against the shore had an undertow that pulls you into a slumber. It's a beautiful thing. And I won't be selfish. I will help. Tuck them in, watch them sleep. They too will find peace within the universe of the WoW. Barely understand a word of that. Headphones, you know. I don't, like I always point out, you know, I don't actually have my headphones on. But I do, but they're not, you know, uh, there's no volume on them because it would just be out of sync with the audio from the capture card. So this is one of those, oh, do we have to, you know, we could take out our buddy, but we could also take out this other robot that's kind of going around minding his own business, kind of talking to itself. Might even be two voices. Careful, Brand. Nice and easy. So is it like? Looks okay, right? Yeah, it'll do. Got it. So it's kind of like, okay. Looks okay, right? Yeah, it'll do. It's like, okay, do you want to take out the robot hey, that's helped the you? It's not working. Or the robot that may or may not be a bit more simple. Looks okay, right? Yeah, it'll do. I mean, it's kind of repeating shit to itself, so. Yeah, I just need a few more. Uh, Hey, try the other one. It's not working. Looks okay, right? Yeah. It'll do. Oh, come on. Brandon? You okay? Well, don't you just be like an ass. And you know what makes you feel even more like an asshole? Now even the robot that's helped you is like, I'm gonna keep away from you. You're dangerous. I do wonder though, how many people that have played this game, like how many of them actually took out the robot that helps you? I mean, you could be like, well, that one seemed more sentient than that one, but that one observed you destroy it and it's keeping its distance. So this one's got some kind of level of consciousness to it as well. It's not quite so black and white between those two robots. This one, obviously, it could feel pain, but it's it's just one of those things, isn't it, to kind of make you think. Simon, don't be mad, okay? We really needed that chip. 
We'd, we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, it was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. He's <laughs> just like, yeah, I don't think too much on it, Simon. Just get on with it. <laughs> I almost bought it. Yeah, of course not. They're not gonna let you jump off the boards. <laughs> I'd be like, well, well, the game didn't. That's not an oversight on the part of the developers in that case. You're just a complete idiots. But you'd have to reload if that happened, that's for sure. It's a lot darker around here when there's no lights and things. How deep down are we? It's like, look how fancy everything looks. You're really good back there, Simon. We got a slight delta deep tour, but we're back on track. Oh, yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the duck back, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the duck back, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Cav, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon. Oh, sure. Anytime. And we get to, you know, the, uh, the big questions here. It's like, don't think about it. Focus on the task at hand. Well, we're pretty deep down then. <laughs> it's like, as she was rambling on, the reason why I was like staring at that whole time I was like, so well, how deep is that? I and mean, that's pretty neat. But you know what I'll do for this part? Record part mainly after, of course. But that'll do for now. For this part, that is.
So I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.